Hello, my brothers and sisters. It is Sister Mary, and I want to bring you what I received this morning in my spirit. Today is Friday, October the 18th, 2019, and approximately at 5.30 a.m. I was hearing a couple of things. And you may hear me pause for a moment because I'm not going to uh, just out and out say the names, but you can put this word together. I ask you to help me pray uh, about this word because this is very serious for the American people. So the title was American uh, Coup, like a coup in America and then a question mark. So, you know, there are prophets speaking that America will be great again and um, justice will be served and not adding or not matching this word. So, I ask you to be in prayer with me over this word. But I do know either way, it is a warning to prepare and be prepared for the things that are coming because just as Pharaoh held God's people, it is the same thing with uh, our government and the laws that have been passed, laws legalizing sin. And so here God is saying, let go of my people. And, you know, we've been addressed and asked to come out of Babylon. Some of this is the church and the world. Um, also the worldly system as far as buying and selling and living like everybody else. We are in the last days. We are in the last hours, last minutes. No man knows the day nor the hour, but we know the season. This is the season of the Lord's return. And, you know, just the messages that I've received, the Lord saying yesterday even, what has to happen before people will turn back to me? What has to happen uh, to cause people to cry out to a holy God. Because see, he is holy. He is reverent. We are to have a reverent fear of him because of the power. He is almighty, omnipotent, all-knowing, all-time God. He is uh, the God of everything. And so some people would say, well, why would he force us to bow down and worship him? Uh, he gives you a free will. He is your creator. So you either will decide to worship him or you will not. And to reject him is to blaspheme him, him, his Holy Spirit, uh, rejecting what the Bible says and means and is. And so it's just like being born into a family and you know what you're, how you've been brought up and you know what the rules are in your family, but yet you want to resist. You want to reject the authority of your mother or your father. And so there are consequences to be paid. And so it's the same way with an almighty God. All right. So without further ado, I will read this to you because it's time for me to go inside my workplace. So I heard there will be danger even going to the grocery store. A coup is planned and somebody that formerly was is in command. A forceful, even violent takeover. So-and-so must come back, they will scream. It is a hostile taking. You must prepare violence and chaos in the streets all without a plan will be without of essential needs as he the antichrist leads you as prey to slaughter my daughter a hostile environment across your nation like you've never seen unbelievers are angry to the point of killing you and leaving you laying in the streets at their unrepentant feet this is not a message to spread fear. Be of good cheer. How timely is that warning? I am is near. My return is near. My humble children all must play out. America falls in one hour. My wrath and vengeance will even the playing field, but not before you see chaos of the masses and much unexpected and unprepared for death. 
pray unto me daily as the schemes are already in motion. There is no turning back when things are brought out publicly for all to see. You must not rely and trust. No, you must rely and trust in me. I will guide you and I will send thee and lead thee. Stay in your homes and away from the enemy. I will instruct thee. Much more is coming. This is but the overthrowing of your government. And then at 6.34 a.m., I heard American Revolution. So you may take with what you will with this message received. You know, is it in my head or do you believe? God bless you this day. I will uh, read as many comments as possible. There's so many people that comment. I wish I could get back to every one of you. Uh, but I love you and... God, we are victorious in the end, period. But we have to be ready and be prepared for these things. You know, some have said that um, President Trump will be reelected for another term. But yet there are some that have said that he will be taken out. And I haven't been given anything about him being reelected. But I have heard message upon message about something happening or he be taken out. He'll, he will be taken out. So, and there is no doubt who's coming back into power. And there are some that just cannot believe it. They cannot fathom it. They're like, this is not going to be. But I'm going to tell you, it is. I mean, it's word after word that this person is coming back. And they are they are in command right now behind the scenes. Never left office, so to speak. Still doing things. Um. And that's it. Today is Friday, October the 18th. I pray you well, and I pray that you take all the time and the hours and the minutes that you have left to not only praise and worship God our Father, uh, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Holy of Holies. So that's your first and foremost thing to do, to be right with God and in right standing. But secondly, we need to be crying out to God. We need to be uh, discerning the times that we are living in. It is uh, of no coincidence that these things are happening now. And this is just one thing. There's other things coming up on the land as far as judgments uh, in the form of tsunamis and earthquakes and flooding and, you know, windstorms up out of nowhere. Because God is going to shake what will be shaken in an effort that people would be saved for all eternity. But if we're not willing to come out of the system one way, God's going to have you pull out of it the, another way. And a hostile takeover and an American revolution would just be one more way that God would, what, one more thing that he would use to get you to wake up. So God bless you. We don't have much time to prepare with physical things that we need because the Lord is saying, you know, be ready to stay in your homes a bit, to stay out of all this chaos and violence and danger that's coming. But also be ready for persecution because it's coming to America. It is coming. There are going to be things that happen in America that you're not going to believe. But you need to believe it because that, this is what time it is. All right, God's going to hide you and protect you, but you've got to be wise right now. You've got to be smart and uh, be prayerful. Ask for God's mercy upon the lost and the unsaved. There are too many people, too much bloodshed still being uh, shed right now, innocent blood, full-term abortions, you know, prayer out of school, uh, immorality in our nation, legalized sin, if I didn't say that, and how dare we think that a righteous God is not going to, um, you know, he said he's going to even the playing field, but we have to see things unfold right now so that he, it's just an effort allowing, he's allowing things to happen so people will wake up because too many people are still asleep and they're complacent, especially here in America. So God bless you this day. God bless you.